and welcome back. After three days of driving from the top of France, we find ourselves down at the bottom of the southwest of France, about 45 kilometers from the Spanish border. And with being on the roads for so long, it was so nice to wake up in such a beautiful spot. Good, isn't it? Bonjour. Good morning, and we are setting off from Andres, heading over the Spanish border today to not far from Burgos, I think. And I'm just going to go for a quick look on the beach. There's no wind today, as you can see. Blue sky. That was a quiet ish night, although you can hear the sea rumbling in the distance, but that's nice. And we are truly lucky to find such a fabulous place to walk the dogs first thing in the morning. It's just what you need before you have another long drive across the border into Spain and down. And even the dogs are relaxed. So we're now in Spain and we've just turned the corner on the AP8 and we're heading south and the sun is still shining. And it's a Wednesday. So Saint we'll David's Day. Oh good, milestones reached. The sun is still shining. But now it's supposed to be snowing in Burgos. Yeah, we're heading for Burgos. And there's a free air just before it, which we're going to try. Looks okay, I'll be searching for signs. Uh, but there's going to be snow later this afternoon. We'll probably just after we've got there. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. We actually stopped in uh, air, free air at a place called Briviesca um, and this is the actual air where we parked up for the night and then we had a short walk down into the town to have a look around. Briviesca has been shaped due to its geological location as a crossroads of Roman roads. In the centre of the original city is the Plaza Maya, which is worth having a look at. The Plaza Maya has stone houses surrounding it and in the middle is a bandstand. In Briviesca, there are two churches worth looking at. I've changed my mind. I think this is the church that we were looking for. The monastery of Santa Clara was built in the 16th century and is in fact a convent church and a hospital and was built for the poor nuns. San Martin Church is originally a Gothic design but was renovated in the 16th century and is now an amalgamation of both Renaissance Baroque styles built upon the Gothic.
Rivieska has lovely old buildings um, for you to look at but as you can see it was very quiet when we visited not much life going on or shops or bars etc open So we're heading on the A62 down towards Salamanca, that's a very good road to use, nice and quiet, fairly smooth, easy driving, it's a bit boring in the scenery but good. The 11 degrees outside but a bit boiling in here as you can see we're in t-shirts, it's like a greenhouse. So. Come back to see you in t-shirts. Yeah. Um, our fuel is coming down and the further south we drive it, so at the moment it's come down to see the cheapest we've seen it is 160 uh, a litre, 1 euro 60. And we were paying 60. almost uh, two, 2 euros. 12? 2 12 in France. If not more on the auto, auto um, toll roads in France. But yeah, good road. And we have blue sky. And what's the temperature on the board, Mr. I just said 11. 11. I wasn't paying attention now. I was hoping it had gone up another degree. <laughs> well, so it's nice and warm here, though, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just debating whether it would be time to put the shorts on it. I don't think it's that warm. Not yet. We've been in Spain for two days and we've not bought any Spanish beer yet, have we? No, but we will be today. Morning, we are at Camping La Chopera near Placencia. Uh, it's 19 euros a night with Axi, including electric hookup. And having been stuck in the van for all this length of time, we decided to stay another night and go for a hike. Cowbells in the distance. Well, I can hear cowbells. A lovely sound. Oh, it's lovely and quiet. Nice to get out and about. A bit of sun, a bit of warmth. Stretch those legs after all that driving we've been doing. Lots and lots of wildlife around here, isn't there, Dave? Let's carry on. This is amazing because the uh, that is actually sand down the bottom there. Incredible. So uh, the movement of the water has turned all these little rocks into sand. Beautiful spot. Super smooth sand. Really, really nice. It's got gold and silver particles in it. Look at it. Lovely, lucky, lush.
This beautiful reservoir is found just outside the campsite and there is plenty of bird life around for you to look at and also there are lots and lots of cycle and hiking routes in the area. So here we are, enjoying our lunch out in the sun, the blue skies, as you can see. The uh, campsite is, you know, practically empty. But that van over there has just pulled in front of that van that's had to move because they were blocking their sunshine. Wouldn't you just love them? And on that positive note, we will leave you here. Please like, share, subscribe and comment because we love to hear from you.